20. Let's get into the week 15 picks. Um, I'm going to go first with my dog of the week. And I didn't really like many of the dog of the week. To yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I'm not going to go with the cop out of the Patriots at plus two. Cause that like, it's not even a, a real underdog. Let's be real. Like, now, this is a weird year where teams aren't going to be getting three points at home, but let's just go by the standard. If you're a home team versus an away team, you're supposed to be favored by three because you're at home. And the Dolphins are only favored by two. So I feel like that's almost more of an even game. But my dog mm-hmm. of the week, I'm going to be going with a team that just got blown out, a team we were just talking about, the Houston Texans up against the Indianapolis Colts for the sole reason that, that this is a ball game that historically has been really close. It was really close a couple of weeks ago where the Texans only lost by six points, and it's been close just about every matchup for the past two or three seasons. So I'm just thinking for Dog of the Week, I'm not really a huge fan of the Dogs this week. Um, I'm just going to take a matchup that I I think is going to be close. I think the Texans could put themselves in a position to win it, but I do like the spread a whole lot more for this Texans team. Give me a, a touchdown. I took them at seven and a half, so I'm going to be going dog of the week. Give me the Texans with the money line, and I'm going to be taking them with their spread as well. Um, And since they're playing indoors, hopefully uh, they won't have any receivers with the light in their eyes so that they can actually catch wide open touchdowns this week. That would be nice. Um, I'm going to change my dog of the week again. I keep like like you said this dog of the week, the dogs this week are just weird. But I'm going to go a little branch because we got the loser of this game is probably out of the playoffs, and it's the Bears versus Vikings. And I'm going to take the bait. I'm going to say the Bears go into Minnesota and upset the Vikings, taking okay. pl- Bears plus three and plus one fifty five money line. I, I don't know. Spread I, and money line. Yeah, I do, I do that every week with my dog of the week. I'm going to take it. I'm going to do it. Oh, just all in know? on the dog. Huh? Just going all in on the dog of the week. I like that. Oh, that's what you got to do. You got to go all in. But, uh, all right. you know, let's go Bears. All right. Um, I'm going to be taking the Chiefs minus three against the mm. Saints. Um. This is just one of those, like, I, I just, I don't know why this spread isn't, like, minus four and a half or minus five. Um, I don't know. I, I took them initially at minus two and a half, but it moved to minus three real quick. But give me the Chiefs minus three. This is just too good of a football team. Um, I'm not sure the Saints offense really has what it takes to keep up with the Chiefs. And, you know, this is a team that was able to beat the the Dolphins by over three points while Patrick Mahomes threw – the same amount of interceptions he had the entire season. I doubt that happens again against the Saints, even though the Saints have a great defense. Um, just give me Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. I think that, you know, this is just that week where they solidify their number one seed in the AFC. I like that. Uh, I'm on the Chiefs as well, so I won't bore you with that. I'm pretty much on the Chiefs every week, but uh, <laughs> I want to take your boy. Not a bad team to be on, though. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, I think they're 0-5 in their last against the spread, though, or something like that. I know they're not covering, but they're winning. So uh, I'm going to be taking your boys, uh, the old Steelers against the Bengals. I, I know it's a huge spread, 13 points or whatever. I like the final score I here. I have it as 11 and a half here. I'm just looking at Bovada, and they have it at 13. Now, oh, granted, geez. the odds are at even, but, like, maybe you'll move. Um, I mean, if you want to give me 11.5, I'll gladly take 11.5. <laughs> I'll give you 11.5. Um, I don't know what Bovada's doing. But, yeah, I like Steelers here. I think you will easily put up 30 against the Bengals this week as, you know, you kind of need to wake up. Last two weeks have been rough. This is where you can really kind of just, like, focus and get the offense rolling. Not very high pressure game against a uh, division foe that you beat plenty of times before, and the Bengals suck. Okay, they don't have Joe Burrow. I don't see how they put up more than like ten points against y'all's defense. So I just kind of like a good old fashioned blowout butt whooping right here, and I'll gladly take my money. 
All right, I'm going to be taking another favorite. This is going to be kind of the theme for me this week, probably. I'm going to be taking the Seahawks minus five and a half. Um, okay. I just don't think that the Washington football team is going to be able to score with their defense again this week. So um, Alex Smith, I believe, is going to be out as well. Um, I- I'm just surprised that the Seahawks aren't at least minus seven this week. Um, they just destroyed the Jets. I think they're going to get their offense and their season back on schedule. So give me the Seahawks minus five and a half. The, the Seahawks are interesting because you would think that spreads bigger, but for some reason, like, I don't know, dude, the football team is just, they got that underdog personality. They've beaten some really good teams in the past few weeks. I think that yeah, they've been they, like, hot. They're they're four and one five and one now with Alex Smith. Like this team, yeah. But, um, I mean, listen, I'll give them credit, but I think it ends this week. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna take bait here. I'm gonna take Dolphins minus two against the Patriots. Uh, I don't love this pick. Uh, just this week is this week looks really really funky, but. I, I like the Dolphins to win by a field goal here. He, last week they got off to a hot start against the Chiefs, kind of fell off, but their defense was making plays to keep them in that ball game. I think their offense can make it. Th- their offense just got to figure something out and get on the board. I I just I'm not sold on the Patriots anymore. Like the Patriots are like the weirdest team in the league because any given week they can win, but any given week they can go out there and lose like. By two, three touchdowns. So, like, that's why yeah. I just hate betting against them. I mean, it's not because I'm betting against Belichick. It's because I don't know which Patriots team is going to show up. But I'm just thinking that they're not going to show up this week. Their season's over. They're washed. Cam Newton's a bomb. He sucks. Dolphins win by three. Um, I'm not a huge fan of this pick, but I'm kind of just fading the public here. I'm going to be taking the Browns minus four. The Giants. Um. This is a Browns offense that's really hot right now. It's a Browns team mm-hmm. in general that's pretty hot. I just think that I'm not sure that the Giants offense can compete with the Browns offense right now. I can definitely see the Giants covering this line, especially if their defense shows up like they have been. But I, I just think that if the Browns are able to put up 25 points, I'm not sure that the Giants are, are going to be able to compete in this football game. So I'll take a Browns team that should be looking for vengeance after a rough Monday night loss against the Ravens, so give me the Browns minus four and a half. Yeah, that was a heartbreaker for him, man. I hated that for him. That Even is though a, I, yeah, I that bet, is a rough loss. I bet Ravens minus three, and I can't believe that covered, but <laughs> Jesus Christ, I, I felt bad for him. It doesn't matter. They're still going to the playoffs. Um, my next game I'm taking – wait a minute. Where are the Titans at? Like, I just saw them. Okay. I'm minus taking Titans minus ten and a half. Yeah, I'm taking them. I'm taking Titans minus ten and a half. I just like with the um, Steelers and all that. I, I'm just liking a good old fashioned butt whooping right here. I, I like a little, mm. you know. If, I don't see the Lions stopping this team on offense, and I don't really see the Lions scoring a lot either. So I think they're going to beat them by like twenty something points. And I'll just take the Titans and the spread. You know, like some people are saying this could be dull week. I think this week I'm just going to take heavy favorites and see what happens. You know, it might be a good teaser week, you know. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I was really thinking about taking the Lions plus 10 and a half. I just think it's too many points. You know, the Lions just played the pa- the Packers pretty well. Um, I think yeah, they covered. Team found, I think this team has found like a new – like a resurgence under Daryl Bevel. Um, you know, I, I'm going to fade you here. Sorry, bud. I'm going to be taking the lines. Ah, oh, dude, I just hate picking the lines. It's just so many points. Um, I'll, I'll take the lines plus 10 and a half, though. All right, this is such a big face off. Take it. Um, yeah, I was thinking of, I got to do another classic teaser. So I'll be. Nice. Um, I'll be teasing the Packers down to minus two and a half against the Panthers. I actually kind of like the Panthers spread here, um, surprisingly enough. And um, 
what team am I going to add? Uh, I'm going to take the Cardinals. Just pick them then. I like that. I think that people are buying a little bit too much into the Eagles a little bit after. I mean, it was a good win, but I'm just going to fade the public there. And that's going to do it for my picks. I don't know about you. Um, I just want to pick one more in between a couple of games. Uh, I like these were like on my bubble watch. I think uh, I picked the Cowboys last week, and I'm they hit. But I'm going to take the 49ers this week. 49ers minus three against the Cowboys. Uh, like a touchdown win for the 49ers here. Just easy. Easy said, done, get it over with. You never know what you're going to get. Yeah. Um, Actually, I'm going to take another pick. I got a lock for me. A lock. Buccaneers versus the Falcons. I'm taking the under. 50 and a half points. Okay. Under 50.5. Falcons, Bucks. Yeah. I uh, like. I still think this is just going to be a touchdown game because we play the Bucks tough. But I, I, I believe in our defense. Believe it or not, I'm confident in our defense right now. How they've been playing, and not confident in our offense to score points. And you know, you never know what you're going to get out of the Bucks any week. So there you go. I just give me the under. Not a lot of points. In Falcons this game. are interesting, man. Home dog. Only 14 percent of people are on them, according to this website I'm on. Um, it makes sense. They suck. Yeah, it's just – it's tough to take the Falcons, man. It, it is really yeah. tough. Okay, actually, no, oh, it's, it's hard. Uh, 7% of the public is supposedly on them. 